Welcome, friends. Today, we are doing a vintage comparison video. Scandalous. That's right, my friends. Today, we are doing a vintage comparison video. And I've wanted to do this video for a while, but it has been necessitated by the fact that I have just sold my Javonchi gentleman and I thought to myself, I better do this video or I'm never going to get the chance to. So, shout out to Ramsey, who continually reminded me of the fact that I had all these fragrances that were difficult to find and probably wouldn't be able to get again at anything like a price I was willing to pay, so I should review them before I sold them. So, you can thank Ramsey for all these outrageous reviews I have been perpetrating recently. Because uh, he was right. Absolutely he was right. And I will take good advice from anyone. So thank the Ram. Thanks, Ram. There is a premium on good ideas these days. And he gave me that one for free. So, here we have Givenchy Gentleman from 1974. And we have Boss Number 1 from 1985. Same as me. That's when I'm from. So, we will... Compare these two fragrances because I think they are quite similar, but I must confess right away, I have a massive preference for Boss Number One. Absolutely, I do. And I will tell you why during the course of the video. Okay, so I don't do many comparison videos, do I? Maybe I should. Um, I mean, obviously, things that I think are similar, you know, but anyway. That you may be thinking to yourself, uh, I want to get one of them. I'm not sure which one to get. Um, or you may be thinking to yourself, I'm not sure whether this video has any point because I'm never going to smell them or I don't like these fragrances. But maybe there will be something in it that will provoke something within you to, to do some kind of action. You know, Maybe you will think about fragrances in a different way. Maybe you won't. I don't know. But let's have a look. First, I will spray Boss Number One, which I am not selling, by the way, and I will explain to you why. Okay, there we are. Spray is not great. Like I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, this is the original. Ah, oh, because it doesn't say Number One on it. Stop picking things up by the cap, you silly man. So that is Number One. Okay, Number One. We have in Number One caraway basil. Bergamot, grapefruit, lemon, green apple, artemisia, and juniper, the middle notes. That was just the top notes, by the way. Middle notes are rose, jasmine, orris, sage, lily of the valley, lavender, geranium, and honey. The base notes are cinnamon, cedar, musk, sandalwood, patchouli, tobacco, and oat moss. Oh, this is fantastic. I love this so much. The, the top of this fragrance... Is a lot less sharp to me. It's it's very it's very smooth. It's clean. I get the geranium. I get the lavender. Um, I get this kind of warmth already. You know. We will now spray the Javante Gentleman. Um, When I spray Javonchi Gentleman at the top, it has a sharpness, um, an edge, an astringency. As I said in my review, it's a little bit woody, it's a little bit earthy. Boss Bottle's more it's more soft, it's more round. It's, it's, it's clean, but in a more natural way. From Javonchi Gentleman, I get this kind of, like, I get this kind of... Not something that's been cleaned, but a cleaner. You know, like a, like a, like a bleach almost from Javonchi Gentleman. Very sharp, very astringent, very powerful. From Boss, I get, I get much more of the floral heart... I get that geranium, the lavender, that kind of softness. There's a much bigger tobacco in 
boss, whereas there's a leather in Givenchy. And you can tell these are 10 years apart. You can tell these are 10 years apart because there, there, are, there is, there's almost cultural differences between them. This is a lot more kind of, this is a lot more kind of kick you in the shins, tell you what to do, come with me. Whereas Boss is more kind of thoughtful, it's smoother, it's a smoother talker, you know. They're both kind of hairy chested men, but one of them's a thinking hairy chested man, the other one's kind of a little bit more brutal, you know. The um the softness of the boss in the mid really starts to become much more apparent as the honey comes in. The honey's nowhere near as astringent as it is in Givenchy Gentleman, which goes in a much woodier direction, you know? It smells 70s. This is the difference between the 70s and the 80s. Givenchy Gentleman's a lot more... I don't want to say masculine because they're both extremely masculine, but this is a lot more brutal. It's blunt. Whereas I kind of feel like boss number one is much more kempt, you know? It's much more sophisticated, aspirational. It's rounder. It's... It's patchouli, tobacco, sandalwood. Is it, that, that that softness takes off the 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 brutal side of the Givenchy gentleman, which is just so much more brash, you know. Side by side, the Givenchy smells a little bit rude. Whereas the boss doesn't. Boss has got a lot softer heart. That lavender, rose, jasmine, sage, geranium, or iris. They're very much on show. They're very much... Oh, I don't want to use, I don't want to use words like intellectual and stuff like that. Because that's, that's just bollocks. But it's got that kind of well, like shaved, well presented white shirt kind of vibe. Whereas Givenchy Gentleman's white shirt has got maybe it's like a couple of sweat patches under the arms and um, three buttons undone with a hairy chest. Maybe it's a gold net, gold medallion kind of thing. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a much bigger fan of the boss than I am of the Givenchy gentleman. And I think it comes down to stylistic choices. And that's it, friends. Thank you for watching my comparison video. I will see you all again soon. Bye.